Now today we discuss the enzymes. Enzymes. Okay. In enzymes, two questions are important. First question is what the inhibitors. First question is inhibitors. Okay. And second question is cofactors. Second question is cofactors. Now we discuss these two. After that, after that we discuss the what the plant growth and development. Okay. Among these two question. Compulsory one question is appear in the your board level board exam. Okay. Now, first one inhibitor. What is the inhibitor and what is the inhibition and uh, how many types of inhibitors are there? How many types of inhibitors are there? Okay. Now, first one uh, inhibitors. Inhibitors. What is the inhibitors? Inhibitors are chemical substance. Inhibitors are chemical substance. This chemical substance inhibit, inhibit is nothing but stop. This chemical substance inhibit the word enzyme action. Okay, it's called what the inhibitor. What is the inhibitors? Inhibitors are, inhibitors are chemical substance. Inhibitors are chemical substance. Inhibitors are chemical substance. Okay, this chemical substance stop the Stop the enzyme activity. Stop the enzyme activity. Stop the enzyme activity. It's called what? Inhibition. It's called what? Inhibition. It's called inhibition. Okay, clear now? So, inhibitors are chemical substance. What are the inhibitors? Inhibitors are chemical substance. Okay, what is the function of this chemical substance? This chemical substance function is stop the enzyme activity. Is called what a inhibition. Okay. Then now types of inhibitors. Now types of inhibitors. Types of inhibitors. Okay. First one. First one is what a competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitor. Second one is non-competitive inhibitor. Non. Second one is non-competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitor. Non-competitive inhibitor. Non-competitive inhibitor. And third one is feedback mechanism. Third one is feedback. Feedback mechanism. Now we discuss one by one with example. Mechanism. Third one is feedback mechanism. First one, competitive inhibitor. First one is competitive inhibitor. Okay. Competitive, competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitor. See, this competitive inhibitor, this uh, name only here, competitive means competition. Competitive is nothing but competition among with the what the inhibitor and substance among with the inhibitor and the substance. So competitive inhibitor means here competition between the what the inhibitor and substance for the binding of the active side of the enzyme binding the active side of the enzyme. So here which one is bind at the which side that is the important. Okay. So here competitive means competitive inhibitor means which one uh, substrate 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 and uh, inhibitor substrate and inhibitor both are substrate and inhibitor both are what uh, both are similar both are substrate and inhibitor both are similar <coughs> structurally similar okay now both are competent with the binding of active site both are both are competed. Both are competed. <coughs> Both are competed for what? For binding. Both are competed for binding at the 
एक्टिव साइट ऑफ एंजाइम एट एक्टिव साइट ऑफ एंजाइम एक्टिव साइट ऑफ एंजाइम ओके सो विच वन इज बाइंड हियर से दिज आर एंजाइम लाइक दिस दिज आर एंजाइम ओके नाउ दिज आर एक्टिव साइट दिज आर एक्टिव साइट ओके दिज आर वट एंजाइम दिज आर एंजाइम at the enzyme this pocket like structure is called what the active site okay now these are substrate kya hai ye substrate hai these are substrate and these are inhibitor these are what the inhi these are inhibitor okay substrate and inhibitor both are structurally similar substrate and inhibitor both are structurally similar now both are competent for the binding of the active site of the enzyme these are the active site okay of the enzyme so both are competent for what the binding at which region at the active site region so which one is bind a substrate or inhibitor is bind to the active site of the enzyme here substrate is not bind a inhibitor is bind here inhibitor is bind okay after in after binding the water inhibitor to the active site this enzyme function will be stop enzyme function will be stop okay is called what a competitive inhibitor so after then next point uh, after in after binding at the active site of the enzyme this enzyme structure is not change not a change because of this substrate is fixed at the active site okay the next next point is what here both are competent both are competent for binding at the active site the next one the next one inhibitor is bind inhibitor is bind inhibitor is bind at the active site of the enzyme inhibitor is bind at the active site active site of the enzyme active site of the active site of the enzyme and their function will be stop and their function their function which their means which function enzyme function their function will be their function will be stop okay example example melonate example melonate similar to the substrate melonate is a inhibitor this melonate similar to melonate is similar to substrate which substrate uh, melonate is similar to the substrate which substrate as uh, succinate succinate substrate okay so melonate is a melonate is a inhibitor melonate is a inhibitor this inhibitor is similar to the what a succinate substrate these are what a substrate okay now this inhibitor bind to the what which enzyme are succinate dehydrogenase okay succinate succinate dehydrogenase clear melonate melonate is similar to the substrate succinate okay now this melonate is bind to the what a succinate dehydrogenase enzyme melonate is both are what structurally similar melonate and succinate both are structurally similar so which one is bind here melonate or succinate melonate or succinate here melonate is bind to the what enzyme these are called competitive inhibitor the next one after binding okay after binding the inhibitor after binding the inhibitor after binding the after binding the inhibitor after binding the inhibitor to act at the active site at the active site at active site enzyme structure enzyme structure will not change enzyme structure will not will not change these are what competitive inhibitor these are competitive inhibitor next point next uh, next is non competitive inhibitor next one is non competitive inhibitor second one non competitive inhibitor 
फर्स्ट वन इज कॉम्पिटेटिव सेकेंड वन इज नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव non competitive non competitive inhibitor non competitive inhi non competitive inhi beater non competitive inhibitor means same point uh, here uh, substrate and uh, inhibitor both are structurally dissimilar substrate substrate <coughs> and a inhibitor substrate and a inhibitor both are structurally what a both are both are structurally dissimilar or different both are both are structurally both are structurally dissimilar both are structurally dissimilar and here substrate is not bind to the substrate is not bind to the enzyme which one is sorry which one uh, sorry which one inhibitor is bind at the other than active site not bind to the what active site so here inhibitor is bind inhibitor is bind inhibitor is bind other than active site inhibitor is bind uh, other than other than active site other than Active site. The next one after binding the what inhibitor to the active site, uh, their function, sorry, which uh, their structure will be changed. Which structure, uh, enzyme structure will be changed. Okay. So after inhibitor is bind to other than active site. After binding, after binding, what happened after binding a uh, enzyme structure, enzyme. Uh, structure will enzyme structure will change enzyme structure will change example example is what uh, metal ions example is metal ions like mercury mercury example is nothing but mercury the next point uh, the next feedback mechanism these are completely cellular cellular mechanism defense mechanism it's control the bacterial pathogen it's control the kill the bacterial pathogen feedback feedback mechanism feedback mechanism these are cellular these are cellular mechanism okay control the water pathogen control the bacterial pathogen control the bacterial pathogen and then next one here uh, enzyme is inactive enzyme is inactive Where, which enzyme is inactive generally enzyme activity enzyme enzyme function is inactive enzyme function is is inactive inactive in the presence of what end product in the presence of end product in the presence of what end product so is a completely cellular mechanism so that end product is that end product is inactive the water enzyme these are what feed back mechanism these are feed back mechanism okay and the next point is the next point is what uh, sorry next question is what next question cofactors next question is cofactor important for your board exam so first what is the cofactor what is a cofactor 
next one co factors see now these are the enzyme which enzyme are hollow enzyme this <laughs> these are the enzyme which enzyme are hollow enzyme hollow enzyme so hollow enzyme consists or hollow enzyme consists of what two portion hollow enzyme consists of what two portion okay it consists two portion one portion is one pro, one portion is what a protein portion one portion is protein portion and next portion is what a non protein portion non a protein portion okay one portion is hollow enzyme consists what a two portion this this portion is black color portion is what a protein one and this empty one is what non protein portion so this protein portion is called what a apo enzyme this protein portion is called what a apo enzyme okay non protein portion is called what co factor this non protein portion is called what a co factor non protein portion is called what a co factor now we discuss this one okay hollow enzyme hollow enzyme consists two portions protein portion is called apo enzyme non protein portion is called what a co factor okay these are hollow enzyme these are what a hollow enzyme hollow enzyme consists two portion protein and non protein protein portion is apo enzyme non protein portion is called co factor co factor consists three types prosthetic group and then prosthetic group co enzyme and then metal ion prosthetic group co enzyme and a metal ion so these are co factors are three types first one is prosthetic first one is prosthetic group second one is co enzyme second one is co enzyme third one is metal ions third one is metal ions okay now we discuss one by one prosthetic group prosthetic prosthetic group prosthetic groups are organic compound prosthetic group are organic compound prosthetic group are organic compound okay now in your apo enzyme tightly bind this prosthetic group is tightly bind to the what apo enzyme this prosthetic group uh, prosthetic prosthetic group tightly tightly bind to apo enzyme tightly bind to the what a uh, apo enzyme is called what a uh, prosthetic group example example hydrogen peroxide h2o2 hydrogen peroxide is breakdown in the presence of peroxidase enzyme peroxidase enzyme into h2o h2o okay h2o and then oxygen h2o and uh, oxygen h2o and uh, oxygen okay then next one next one is what a co enzyme next one is these are first one second one is what a co enzyme second one is co enzyme okay these are also organic compound this co enzyme is also organic compound but these are loosely bound to the apo enzyme these are loosely bound to the what a apo enzyme these are derived from water soluble vitamins nad and nadp okay what is the co enzyme co enzymes are loosely bind to the apo enzyme co enzymes are loosely bind to the what a apo enzyme and these are derived from water soluble vitamins nad nadp nad nicotinamide dinucleotide nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nadp nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate is a example okay co enzyme means what uh? these are organic compound these are also organic compound these are organic compound okay now these are loosely bind co enzymes are loosely loosely bind or bound loosely bind to what a uh? apo enzyme loosely bind to the what a uh? apo enzyme and these are derived from these are derived from 
these are derived from water soluble vitamins from water water soluble these are derived from water soluble vitamins these are water soluble vitamins example nad nadp example is what a nad and a nadp example is nad and a nadp nad full form is nicotinamide nicotinamide adenine n for nicotinamide a for adenine D for dinucleotide. Dinucleotide. Okay. Then NADP. Same. N for nicotinamide. N for nicotinamide. Okay. A for adenine. A for adenine. D for dinucleotide. D for dinucleotide. P for phosphate. P for phosphate okay then last one is what uh, metal ions last one is metal ions third one third one is metal ions means some metal activate the enzymes example Zinc. Zinc activates the proteolytic enzyme carboxypeptidase. Carboxypeptidase. Some enzymes. Some enzymes. Okay. Some enzymes are what are? Some enzymes activates the some metals, not enzymes. Huh? Some metals. Some metals activates the activate the enzymes some metals activate the enzymes like zinc zinc activates the zinc activates the activates the what a proteolytic enzyme activate the proteolytic enzyme their name is carboxy carboxy peptidase carboxy peptidase carboxy peptidase these are what three types of cofactors what are the cofactors cofactors are non protein portion cofactors are non protein portion these are three types okay one is prosthetic second one is what second one is what coenzyme third one is metal ion prosthetic group is a organic compound tightly bind to the apoenzyme example is hydrogen peroxide okay what are these hydrogen peroxide breakdown by the water peroxidase enzyme after breakdown it gives the water water molecule and oxygen then next one is what a coenzyme these are also organic compound but these are loosely bind to the apoenzyme okay and these coenzymes are mostly derived from what water soluble vitamins that's what nad and nadp you know already example of sorry full form of nad nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and then NADP, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, phosphate. And then metal ions. Some metals activate the water enzymes. Example, zinc. Zinc is a metal. This metal activates the water proteolytic enzyme. That enzyme name is carboxypeptidase. Okay. Then next, oxygen. The next one is oxygen. Oxygen. This oxygen is first isolated from human urine. Oxygen first isolated from where? First isolated. Oxygen first isolated from human urine. Human urine. Okay. And these are derived from, this oxygen is derived from indolistic acid. Oxygen, oxygen is derived, oxygen is derived from indolacetic acid, oxygen is derived from 
I A A. What is the full form of I A A? Indole acetic acid. Indole acetic acid. Indole acetic acid. Bracket close. Then this oxygen mostly synthesized in the where in the apex region of the root and shoot. Oxygen is synthesized. Oxygen is synthesized at the like for example these are the plant. Huh? Okay, these are the roots, huh? like these are the branches. Okay, <coughs> these are the like shoot apex region, shoot a huh? apex region. <coughs> so these are the these are the root apex region. These are the root apex region. So oxygen is synthesized at the apex of the shoot or apex of the root region. Oxygen is synthesized. Oxygen is synthesized at the Apex region of apex region of root or shoot. Apex region of root or shoot. <coughs> then next one. Oxygens are two types. Oxygens are two types. One is natural oxygen. Second one is what synthetic oxygens. Oxygens are oxygens are oxygens are how many types? Huh? Two types. Oxygens are two types. Okay, two types. One is natural oxygen synthesized by the plants. Okay, natural oxygen. This natural oxygen synthesized by the natural oxygen synthesized by plant. Natural oxygen synthesized by the plants and synthetic oxygens and uh, synthetic oxygens. Synthetic oxygens. Natural oxygen and uh, Synthetic oxygen. Synthetic oxygen is prepared in laboratories. Okay. So these are man-made. These are prepared in laboratories, man-made. Okay. Natural oxygen are I A A I B A. I A A I B A. What is I A full form of indole acetic acid? Indole acetic acid. And the IBA means indole butyric acid. Indole, indole butyric, indole butyric acid. Then NAA. Okay, and 2,4-D. NAA and 2,4-D is synthetic oxygens. NAA means naphthalene acetic acid. Naphthalene. Naphthalene acetic, naphthalene acetic acid, and then next one is what? 2, 4, 2, 2, comma 4, D means at the second position and the fourth position of what? Chlorine. That's why what it's called 2, comma 4, dichloropinoxy, dichloropinoxy acetic acid. 2 comma 4 dichloro phenoxy acetic acid. Okay. Then now physiological roles of oxygen. Come on. Physiological role of oxygen. Physiological role of oxygen. Physiological. Physiological role of oxygen. Physiological role of oxygen. First one. First one is initiate the rooting in stem cutting. Initiate the initiate the root. Initiate the rooting in stem cutting. Initiate the rooting in stem cutting. Okay. This this uh, what it's called. Uh, uh, like this. These are the root now. Sorry, these are the plant. Huh? Okay, if this plant is cut, for example, if this plant is cut and spray the word oxygen, the, this plant uh, induces the water, uh, this oxygen induces the water rooting in where in stem cutting, right? And the next one, it promotes the, then second one, it uh, promotes the apical dominance in body in point in the two marks question also. Promotes the, Promotes the apical dominancy. Promotes the apical dominancy. Promotes the apical 
dominance. What is the apical dominance? A, for example, these are the plant now. Okay. Now these are lateral branches. These are what the lateral branches. And these are the what apical bird. These are what the apical bird. Okay. And these are what like uh, axillary bird or lateral bird. Axillary bird, Samjo. Okay. Now this apical bird dominant to the axillary bird or lateral branches. This apical bird dominant to the what the lateral branches or axillary bird. Okay. Means when apical bird is removed, then lateral branches go grow. If apical bird is present, okay, this uh, with the help of what uh, with the help of what not with the help of means this apical bird suppressed to the growth of lateral bird. This apical bird dominant to the water lateral bird and suppressed to the word growth. That's why it's called what uh, this apical portion or apical bird dominant to this one. It's called what apical apical bird is a dominant to the word lateral branch. It's called what apical dominancy. When we remove the apical bird, then grow the water lateral branches. It's called what apical dominancy. Important point. Okay, oxygen promotes the word apical dominancy. Means what the apical bird, apical bird dominant, apical bird dominant to the water, dominant to lateral branches. Apical bird dominant to the water, lateral branches. Apical bird dominant to the water, lateral branches. When apical bird is removed, when a apical bird, when apical bird is removed, when apical bird is removed, then grow the what? Then grow the, then grow the lateral branches. Then grow the lateral, then grow the lateral branches. Then grow the lateral branches for what? Apical dominancy okay the next one the next one is what the uh, apical sorry uh, this uh, which one initiate the root cutting now that is uh, help in where in the hedge making and a uh, tea plantation hedge making and a uh, tea plantation in where in a uh, gardeners okay then next is what uh, the next The next oxygen promotes the flowering in where oxygen promotes the flowering in the fine apple. Then third uh, uh, physiological role. Third physiological role is oxygen promotes the oxygen promotes the promotes the flowering. Oxygen promotes the flowering in where in a fine apple. The next one oxygen prevent the dropping of young leaves okay prevent the dropping of young leaves and fruits and uh, promote the senescence promote the what uh, senescence sorry not promote the uh, prevent the dropping and promote the what uh, senescence of leaf and uh, fruits promote the senescence of what uh, leaves and uh, fruits okay oxygen promotes the what uh, flowering in where in a pineapple in a pineapple Oxygen promotes the flowering in the pineapple and then oxygen inhibits. Oxygen inhibits the water. Oxygen inhibits the dropping of dropping of leaves. Dropping of water, young leaves. Dropping of young leaves. Younger leaves and the fruits. Young fruits. Young leaves and fruits. And but but promotes the but promote the water senescence. But promote the senescence. But promote the water senescence. But promote the senescence of what? Fruits and uh, fruits and uh, leaves. Fruits and uh, leaves. Then oxygen also promotes the water xylem differentiation. Oxygen also. Promotes the water, xylem, differentiation. Next physiological role. Next physiological role, oxygen. Oxygen promotes the, oxygen promotes the water, xylem, differentiation. 
ऑक्सीजन प्रमोट द वाटर जाइलम डिफरेंशिएशन देन नेक्स्ट वन सम ऑक्सीजन्स आर हेल्प पर किलिंग द हर्ब्स किलिंग द हर्ब्स इट्स कॉल्ड व्हाट अ हर्बिसाइड इट्स कॉल्ड व्हाट अ हर्बिसाइड ओके 2 कॉमा 4 डी 2 कॉमा 4 डी मींस 2 कॉमा 4 डाइक्लोरोफिनोक्सीएसिक एसिड 2 कॉमा 4 डाइक्लोरो फिनोक्सी एसिटिक एसिड 2 कॉमा 4 डाइक्लोरो फिनोक्सी एसिटिक एसिड किल द किल द डाइकोटविट्स किल द डाइकोटविट्स बट नॉट अफेक्ट बट नॉट अफेक्ट द बट नॉट अफेक्ट द व्हाट मोनोकोटविट्स बट नॉट अफेक्ट द मोनोकोट मोनोकोट विट्स ओके सो दे इज ऑक्सीजन is helper oxygen is help oxygen is helper what bd side bd side these are about the uh, oxygen these are about oxygen okay then also induce the parthenoc or b in where in tomatoes then also induce the what uh, parthenoc or b in tomatoes is not our next point uh. also induce induce the parthenoc or b Also induce the parthenocarpy. What is the parthenocarpy? Without fertilization, ovary development is one fruit. Without fertilization, ovary development is the fruit. It's called parthenocarpy. Okay. So this parthenocarpy induced by the word auxin. In where? In tomatoes. No tomatoes. Okay. The next one is zebralin. Can you can you stop? Okay. Okay.